today I'm off to meet a 15 year old girl who's pregnant with her first child. East London, like many inner city areas, has high numbers of teen pregnancies. You know, at 15, I'd had my first snog. In no way was I in a place to have a baby at all. The press loved to give them a hard time, saying they're irresponsible and only get pregnant to get a council flat. But is that true? Or does it just make a good headline? Hi, fellow preggers. Hi. Come on, embrace. <laughs> Hi. How pregnant are you? Um, I'm saving your mums. I ain't really scared about it. Really? I yeah, I ain't really thought about it. It wasn't an ideal thing for us to have a daughter of 15 come home and say I'm mm. pregnant, but obviously Paige couldn't wait, so there we go. Paige, can you pass mummy the milk, please? Paige isn't alone. Every day, 22 schoolgirls under 16 get pregnant. How did you know you were pregnant? Me and my boyfriend did what we wanted to do. And then the second time that we did it, the condom split, so... And I was a bit worried and I thought I was. So then I went and got a pregnancy test and I was. How was it when your mum found out? I was really scared. I couldn't stop crying. She went, oh, crying, hysterical at me, and I thought, I went, calm down. I went, for crying out loud, I went, just calm down. Don't get yourself in a state. We'll deal with it. She gave me the choice. If I wanted to keep the baby, I'd get rid of her. But I said, no, I really want to keep her. It's just something about me. I couldn't have an abortion. It's that like killing the baby. It's not really the baby's fault. It never has to be put in that position. Who's the daddy? I'm Mason. A guy called Mason. And how old is he? 15. And you guys still together? Um, not at the moment, no. You know, I phoned Mason's mum and she was, oh, no, 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 not my Mason. I said, well, yes, 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 you're Mason. Can you ask Mason if he had sex with Paige? She went, no, not me. Typical 15-year-old or 14-year-old kid at the time. No, not me. So I left it there. And we just went and got on with what we needed to do. I was laying in my bed the other night and I looked at my scan photo and I felt the baby kicking and I was thinking, I can't believe that I'm pregnant. This, it's like a dream. I've got to wake up from this dream. But for many pregnant schoolgirls, it's more of a nightmare than a dream. I've had one person, I don't know who it is, they prank calling me on my phone, calling me a slag because I'm pregnant. Also, you are feeding your baby. Not really, so it's a slag. Any time I'm pregnant, I keep it. Mm. That's so weird. Why would someone call you up just to call you a slag? Exactly. They've got nothing better to do. So I think it's pathetic, because if they was pregnant, they wouldn't like it. And I don't think if they was pregnant, they would keep the baby. And they ain't really got the guts to do that. Do you feel quite proud that you've made that decision to keep the baby? Yeah. I just think people think that you can't cope with a baby when you're 15, but I think you can and prove everyone wrong, really because you're still a good mum even though you're 15. How are you feeling about the birth? Not really scared. Might have a water birth there. <laughs> oh, my God. Do you... How are you not scared? I just ain't been... I ain't really been thinking about it. I just can't wait till she's here. Do you think 15 is quite young to have a baby? It's better than being 12. <laughs> say, say, say. Babies don't come cheap. £70. Pounds. That's wow. really expensive. Same, 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 same. But what I want to know is how she's going to look after her kid when she's still really a kid herself. How are you finding money with the baby? My nan gives me £20, pounds, like, every month, so I put that £20 pounds in the bank. So if I need nappies or baby food or anything like that, I can go get it. Are you worried about the finances? Are you worried about the money? I think I'll have enough money for the baby. I've already got a tin of milk and the baby ain't even here yet. Whilst I'm struggling to understand how Paige will cope with being a mum at 15, her mate Frankie has already been there, done that and got the baby to prove it. And she was only 14. Some people say about teen mums, you know, the only reason they have babies is to get council flats and benefits. You can't help getting pregnant. It's like sometimes it just happens and I wouldn't want to live on my own. I wouldn't I think I'd rather just live with my mum. What is the hardest thing about being a mum at 15? You can't do what you used to do. 
What did you used to do? What are the things that you miss doing? Um, <laughs> going to school. Sometimes during the day I get really bored. Sometimes I think I'll be having a laugh with the school if I was here. But for now, Paige is swapping classes for regular checkups with her GP. So Paige, how are you doing? Yeah. Okay. How many weeks are we now? Oh, 32 tomorrow. Have you booked or started any antenatal classes? You haven't. What are you thinking to do with them? Accident. I was going to go, but then I missed them, so I thought I'm not going to book more because you don't really listen to what they say anyway. Because when you're in labour, you do the total opposite. I really think they'd be really good and useful for you. Well, do you want to try that then? Um, you haven't. That checkup was quite different to me in that if I get told to do something by the doctor, I just do it. Paige, she just was like, not interested, I won't listen. Hi, Paige. Lovely, lovely to meet you. Good Good luck with everything, okay? I wonder how much of of my view of this is coloured by the fact that this just never happens to anyone that I know. Whereas, actually, in Paige's world, this seems to happen quite a bit. To her, it's actually completely fine. And, you know, she's not 12, so she's ready. Paige thinks she can cope, but she hasn't had the baby yet. <laughs> What's it really like being a teen mum? Say hello. So who's this? This is Jaden. <laughs> Hi, Jaden. How old's Jaden? Uh, 19 months. Amber lives in a hostel in East Sussex with four other teen mums. I fell pregnant when I was 15. And then I had him when I was 16. Big shock? So, yeah, it was a really big shock. But I, at the time, I was with the baby's dad and that, and he said he'd stand by me. But um, we just kept arguing, and obviously it's stressful being young parents. And he's only just turned 17. So we decided to split. Eww. The odds aren't good. Less than one in five boys will stick by their pregnant teen girlfriends. And my baby's dad, he just sort of sat there in shock, like, oh, the baby's finally come. But then they put him in my arms and just fear went through me. Of I didn't know how to look after him or... Like, I think that's when I realised that I was too young to have a baby after I'd had him. Compared to older mums, teens are more prone to postnatal depression. Yeah, I've had to be with him on my own most of the time which is quite hard because all your friends are going out and you just, you feel really left out on that. Do you feel lonely? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Really isolated and just on your own, gone from being a teen just to a mum. Who judges you more, do you think, your friends or kind of older people? Older mums walking around. You know, it just makes you angry. Someone who doesn't even know you, judging you and your baby. Teen mums get a lot of grief, and after a while they get used to it. But a walk out on the street proves a shock to me. An older woman has a go at the mums. You're in the pavement, you get out of the pavement. You're rude, you're so rude, you're just like everyone else. And what she really wanted to say was, you're a slag. She nearly said it, but she didn't, she saw me. See, that just proves what we get. Pardon me for pushing my buggy along the road, darling. (laughs) That's what I mean by the older people, that's what they're like. They love to do just because they're young. The media makes us out to be like Vicky Pollard mums, don't they? <laughs> there can be some mums like that, but and I don't know many like the that. Teenage mums can be better mums than yeah. middle aged mums. It doesn't, I don't that. think it matters how old you are. If you had to choose between having a baby when you're 15 or 35, what would you go for? I think 15 because still yourself, you're full of energy, you're young, and you haven't really had a life before, so you're, you wouldn't miss anything. Would you be upset if your kids had um, children at, like, 14, 15? I would, because I know how much it's messed up my life. I'd never regret dating, ever, but I wish I'd done anything different. But for Amber, history seems to have repeated itself. So when did you find out you were pregnant again? In January. Wow. Yeah. I decided to keep the baby because he's got the same dad as Jaden, and then Jaden would have a real brother or sister. Did you want to have another baby? Mm. Not now. And already, Dad's out of the picture again. If someone says the word daddy, if they're just having a conversation, he'll say gone. 
He's not even two and he knows that he's gone. It's horrible because if I like one day I'm upset and I sit there and cry, he'll come over and give me a cuddle and that and it's horrible for him to have to like, to know to have to do that. There's lots of things about being a young mum which are incredibly difficult. Very rarely do you have the support of the father. You don't have financial means to be really comfortable. You feel quite isolated, you feel judged. It's really tough for a lot of reasons.